Actually gonna oh my god, look at all those look at all these Croodons that were following me down the beach. Oh my. I literally just drifted and started recording. I just noticed all these guys. Dang. But anyways, I what I was what I was gonna do here is there's one of those guys just duking it out with these boys. So let's get cl up close and personal. Ant Hill health, Ant Hill health. Hey guys, Gunshoy More back here with another video. So I know it's been a hot minute since we uh, recorded. I know last time I said we were gonna go caving, but I got to talking with some people in the modding community, and I also made that sunken worlds video. And since then, I have made some changes to the pack of mods that we have in here. And one that we have in here right now is better dinos and no untamables. Those are both the new mods. Um, breedable griffins has been removed thanks to uh, better dinos and its griffins being breedable. So all that. But today I'm gonna con I'm gonna do what I said we might also do with the caves. Um, we're gonna actually go out and tame some aquatic creatures, and we're gonna start with fish. I don't know why. I just figured this would be awesome, mostly because of what the colacanth can give me, and I have blacklisted some stuff so it can't give me certain things. So I will, I will uh, leave that in, I'll leave my configs in the, the guide, or the mod, the mod collection and all that, so that way you guys can get it. But yeah, today we are going to be going out and taming up some fish. I'm going to try and get some saber-toothed salmon, colacanth, maybe some piranha. Um, I know leeches are tameable thanks to Carex Better Dinos along with the... Uh, a bunch of the other ones so we can tame actually a couple creatures here with uh, with the fishing baskets so yeah but one more thing here before yeah as you can see we have tech griffins so again I spawned in two 180s I did not give a damn about their uh, stats so they're actually kind of bog but anyways uh, we got two tech griffins because for me to get these I'd have to go to a Ragnarok or a map that has griffins spawn on them so i just gave me uh two tech griffins and i had to replace the two griffins uh from the was it breedable griffins because they were also a remap so when they got taken out our dinosaurs the the griffins got removed so we had to get our griffins back but anyways other than that i've been mostly just breeding the fenrirs and yeah I started breeding terror birds, but I gave up, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna hop on Andy and start walking our way down the rivers, just looking for fish to tame. I paused. Um, I accidentally made these guys mad. Look at just how many. Oh my god. And then look, as you kill them, they respawn. So it looks like there's just a bunch of ants coming out of the ant hill. Oh my. Legit, look, I just killed all those, and then all these ones over here spawn. Oh, oh, something bad happened. Run, Andy. Run. Okay, I'm going to actually try and break this and see what happens. But it look at like how many workers and all that spawns. That's just me biting, and it fills. Oh, my God. There's so many. Oh, there's another anthill over there. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to run up to the, this. Start biting. Oh my god, there's just so many. And as they spawn, they just come at me and I bite them. Okay. I need to go. I need to go. I don't... Yeah, Andy's starting to lose some health. Um, Let's get back on track. I'm going to go for the fish. We'll figure out these ants another day, but that's interesting. I I did not see one of those ant hills at all. I also just spotted something here. There are two rideable Dilophosaurus over there. Basically, all right. So there are two versions of the Dilophosaurus now. There's a big one that's rideable, and then there's the normal one. Also, I just, like I just realized how hard it's going to be to try and look through one of these. Did these ants just murk all those guys? Oh my god, they are. Ooh, those are Magnari. Those guys are also tameable, so I'll figure that out. 
one of these days. But yeah, we're now down by the river. Actually, want to want to be there's a Starachosaurus over there. I think that's how what it's called. Uh, basically, it was one of the skins for that. For uh, what is it? the Packy, now it's a creature, thanks to Carrix. But anyways, um, usually there is a Confucius spawn here. But it appears that there's something happening here. What the? Oh my! Um. Oh, 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 I know what's happening. Okay, so what ha is happening is that the anthill is spawning in the water. And eventually, it breaks. Because, I guess, something about it. I don't feel like I can actually see the Ness health through the spyglass here. But, yeah. Also, what is this I have on me? You are losing stamina. You've been marked. Uh, oh, you've been marked as a target from an ant colony. Why do... It's just like randomly there's a galley that comes launching over my back. But, yeah. As you can see here, we got a bunch of fish. These are the guys we were looking for. Um, I'm gonna actually clear up some of these females, these uh, ant queens. They take some damage. Looks like the ant queen runs from me. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. There's just I I guess that's what the queen looks like. They just look like a massive ant, which I guess that would be what they are. Um, uh, yeah. But, problem is now I got this ant colony mad at me and dang it uh, I have to move down the river a bit so yeah I'm just gonna head over here towards where the wider part down this way now to here I'm losing stamina because of this aren't I okay Andy might have a problem Andy has a serious problem Okay, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to kill all these guys, and I'm going to sit and wait. So I've been marked by two different ant colonies. Andy, not a good time to take poop. Okay. Nice thing about ant sharks is they can just plow through. Sorry about that, and we are back. Uh, ooh, that, oh, those are not good. Run, Andy. I don't know if we can take one of those guys. Okay, now we are getting down to where I, I think I want to be. I don't think I'm faster than the Spinosaurus. I am. Okay. So this is the part of the river I definitely want to be out here for taming. This is usually where I can't, I come on the is it, island to tame up uh, otters. It's usually just because there's a lot of fish and it's a wide spot in the river and it just gives you like an area to move where uh, creatures like rexes and all that may not be you know directly coming at you and we can just do that with our camera slightly under the water can i see Okay, I'm just going to kill Piranha because I'm taming Saber to Salmon and Colicanth right now. No, 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 Andy. There's so many. <laughs> so. I, I don't even know why I'm doing this thing. Okay. Uh, make sure you're on follow. And what we're going to do is we're just going to check all their... That's a 1.3. Basic, yeah, we're just going to try and get anything above a 2.0. 0.9. I know salmon are skittish. They're going to probably be the hardest ones to get in the traps because they flee. You know? 1.3. And Andy's following me here. There are some creatures crossing the water there, and there are more piranha. Ooh. Yeah, I guess piranha. 
That actually might be the easiest thing to tame here, is piranha. Ooh. There are a lot of them, see? Um, okay. Let me actually see what the, the piranha do for me if I tame them. Alright, piranha, I am going to actually want some high-level piranha, because they're basically water raptors. They get, like, a pack buff, I think it says. Um, do, 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 do. Piranhas do not target anything unprovoked, unless it is one. Under 50% two has either a bleeding buff or has base disease buff, such as swamp fever, mega rabies, or... True. Tor... Oh, okay. So, now, piranha will only harm you if you're under half health or... Or provoked or you have a bleeding effect or any disease okay let's hit alt 2 let's let's test this uh little uh hypothesis hypothesis i mean i'm pretty sure this dude would be mad at me <laughs> okay i think we should be good uh that's a 1.2 hi andy okay um, ooh, that looks like a big old salmon. What are you? You look big. You are big. Oh my, you actually are very big. Oh, uh, that's a one. Why are you so big? I thought, like, this, that was your scaling. You just look massive. Okay, um, we have a bunch of piranha on that end of the... I didn't even hit you! That scared me. I was like, what was that? Ah, I'm, I wonder if Andy hit him. That's probably what handed, happened. Andy clipped him and made him aggro. Okay, this looks like a nice little fish population here. 1.5. Uh... Oh, so the piranha are just randomly attacking fish. Oh no, they're randomly attacking fish that they take out. Okay. I I have. I keep on hearing things and it scares me, and I have no clue what to do. Oh, I'm hungry. That's what it is. Okay. Um. I don't... I'm just going to keep on looking for fish. That's actually a level 75 salmon. Okay, thank you, Andy, for being so close. I can't even see it. Um, I'll get back to you guys once I actually find a creature here worth grabbing. Okay, I'm actually going to... Oh my god, look at all those... Look at all these Troodons that were following me down the beach. Oh my. I literally just drifted and started recording. I just noticed all these guys. Dang. Anyways, I what I was what I was gonna do here is there's one of those guys just duking it out with these boys. So let's get cl up close and personal. Ant hill health, ant hill health. Oh, there's two ant hills here. Okay. I think that's what it said. Yeah, there's two ant hills there. You can see it. And I'm guessing there's more over here because look at all that. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I had a little incident there with my recording, but found this little pond here. We're gonna take a look for the fish in it. And it's pretty desolate. I mean, I might... I also just remember this. I actually have a 2.1 back in the lake. A cola camp back at the lake at the base. <clears throat> oh, I'm... Actually, never mind. I might not, because... I've taken Andy into the lake once or twice to get fish. Oh, that might not be good. Let's check this water. Ooh, salmon. You are definitely, yeah. What are you? 1.2. Um. We're starting to get into the swamp. And you know what? I'm gonna do it. I got to. It just makes the seer. It yeah. Um, I don't. Should I? Uh. 
I don't know. I don't want to. I really don't know if I should do this or not. Ooh, I don't know. Also, I'm it's I'm not talking about going into the swamp. I'm talking about adding in a mod that we've already used, Dino Tracker or Dino Finder. Um maybe I don't know. And now that I just got killed by a Titana Boa and had to run all the way back down here from that side. Uh, we are back. I legit got killed by a snake while I was changing out mods. But anyways, we now got Creature Finder. Wait, uh, shift. There we go. <laughs> I know, I said I, was gonna, I wasn't going to use this anymore. I lied. <laughs> so, let's make sure we can actually tame some stuff. There we go. Where we go? Search, search, search. Search, 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 search. And, oh my, it actually does tell me they're, uh, what is it? They're scaling. Okay, so I have it going by level, but it looks like it's by health. life i think the i think the more life they have the bigger they are correct no i i completely lied to you guys um yeah we'll figure this out basically we're looking for anything two times one or two times 2.0 we're looking for th anything above a 2.0 a 2.1 would be perfect, but then again, why aren't there, like, it's not showing me any fish in the rivers. Okay, now we're up to 5,000, Polican. Where are you? Oh, shit. Oh yeah, there are other pages as well. So if you di if you didn't know, these things right here, they're pages. Seems how there's like 5,000 Colacanth on the map. I can cycle the page and find 2.1, where are you? And then you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna just try and find a high level now. But it's above two. Sadly, it looks like that may not work. And it's all like 0 0.4, 0 point, all that. Um, that 2.3, I might have to go hunt him down. Like, he's the best one I've seen, is legit a 2.3. So, the, the thing is, he's not in a river. He's in the ocean. Let's go with life again. He was the highest health one on the map as well. Did my game freeze? Please tell me you did it, bro. Okay. Did he die? I think the Colacanth died. I wish it would also, when I clicked on these, just trace me to the one I clicked on. Anyways, I'm gonna find a fish worth taming. Alrighty, I found that Colacanth again, the 2.3. It's a level 15. We're going for him. Run like the wind, Andy. Also, look at... Oh my... Oh, mm. What what is it what is it called when you have a phobia of snakes? I got that. Um oh, look look at these. They're just massive. And they actually like just like the fish, the snakes actually even have that scaling thing. Also, here comes one of the rideable uh Dil Dilophosauruses. But those snakes are huge. I think the massive one went into the water, didn't it? Oh yeah, there he is. Ah! 
Oh my god, I'm legit holding my feet up in my lap right now. I don't like snakes. <laughs> okay, I'm walking back, and it looks like this mess cleaned itself up. I mean, I don't see any queens. I don't even see a nest here anymore. So... I think next episode, we'll try and get some of the no untamables Instead of just random fish I find in the water. Yeah. I'm gonna get this 2.3, and then we're gonna see how it goes from here. Okay, so... Ooh, no, 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 no! He's gonna, like, take something from me important. Oh, yeah, so stop so he can catch up. Alright, let's get in the water. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Look at how deep he is. Oh no. Why am I falling? Why am I falling? What? Did... What? Um... Why isn't the ocean working? I can't swim. I'm not drowning. Um... Oh no. Um... Um... What is... Like, legit, what is happening? Uh, okay. Um... Problem fixed itself. Like... What the hell? What's that? What is Andy's got air? We're going down deep. Problem is, is there are a lot of alpha Moses out this way in Tuso's top. And Andy only has a limited supply of oxygen. And I believe if I hit C, yeah. Look, we got Liptopleurodons, all that stuff down this way. Got some of this little guys. That's our Colacanth right there that we're trying to tame. And he's big. One thing I don't want to do is have... You fuck off. Oh, okay. Um, I just got back. I had to run and, like, run my trash out. Um, I'm... Oh, Andy, you're okay. You're okay, Andy. You can do this. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. He's weak. He's running. We can get him. It's a fish. It's faster than me. Okay. I about shit my pants when I saw that lead sickness. Speaking of lead sickness, let's go check this guy's mouth. Um... Okay, I know we're supposed to tame in that cola can, but with uh, no untamables, there is now a way to tame lead sickness, which requires me to get an egg out of one of their mouths, I believe. Now I just need to catch this fish. Fast close, please don't get mad at me. Fast close, and you're forward. I need you to swim down. He would swim down. As soon as... I'm gonna head up as soon as Andy doesn't look like he can stay down it. But until then... I gotta get this fish in a basket. So, until I have any updates, uh, I'm gonna pause, and once I do have any updates, I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized I forgot to record it! Um, but I caught him in the basket, I caught him in the basket. 172. 230. Probably can't. Alright. Um, now, I believe it said for me to get this to actually, like, work, work. Like, it make it actually one of my creatures. I have to now go take him. Where, what is that one? Is there another 2.3? No, that's gotta be a glitch. Hold up. I gotta check this. Oh, shit. I heard... If I searched by, uh, that, this isn't going to work, actually. I think I just lost it because I hit, uh, click here to search. Um, but anyways, I'm pretty sure if I now go and put the Colacanth into the cryopod, this, oh, so this is all up on the guides for the mod and all that, so I will leave those up there as well for you guys to go look at. Alright, we're looking for level 15s. Oops, what? Oops, what was this? Let 
to get out of the water here. Okay, so now we can check. Um, I have to do that again. That's not going to work. Ah! I hate it when it does it. It always makes me think the game is like froze and crashed. Ah. Also, for people that are kind of wondering, how did you tame a fish? Well, first off, there are fish in the game that are tameable, that are not rideable, not breedable, and you have to tame them a certain way. So like colocant, uh, lamprey, leeches, uh, piranha, saber-toothed salmon. You can all, you can tame all of those normally without mods in the game with a fishing basket. The only thing is, is that they don't follow commands and you can't level them or anything. But thanks to Carex Better Dinos and No Untamables, some of these are now breedable and uh, yeah, just breedable, tameable, and they actually even have uses. Like the cola camp here, basically is just a garbage. It's like a, it's a trash can. It while it swims around, it just eats everything in sight, from arrows to scrap metal. I mean, it, it that's what it is. It just randomly collects junk in its inventory. So I figured I'd use it. I don't know. It just they these two mods just seem like a good thing to add, so I did. And now we're gonna use it. Anyways, let's go find that level fifteen that it was shown. Up one, up one. Okay. Level fifteens. Let me just make sure. Yeah. There's another two point three out there. I will go get it. I don't see anything, but let's just get this guy back to the Lost Lake, and then we'll see what we can do with him. Also, oh, I want to. I want to. Let me... Uh, I don't... You okay, Andy? Uh, Andy tried to climb up this, and I think now he's stuck. Are you stuck now? Oh my god, you are. Nope, we're good. Um, give me a second here. I'm actually going to go quickly read up on these guys and see what they're good for, because I'm using, a, I believe, the Carex Better Dino ones, not the No Untamables, so. Okay, so the way these guys work is the larger they are and the higher the level they are, the more biotoxin you receive from them. And basically now, to, like, get them to aggro on you, you have to, like, yeah. You have to get pretty close, because usually these, these guys are... Oh, shit. I hate fish. I'm not joking. I legit just, like, that startled me so much. Ugh. Okay. You're level uh, 50 with an 09. You're level 10. So, I just wonder. Because these guys... Yeah. Are you coming towards me? You are, you are. Interesting, interesting. I wonder, like, how far will you come? I think that's as far as he's gonna come towards me. Oh! Okay, so he is aggro. This one's aggro. Um, do I want to tame it? Is the question. I mean, it'd be very easy. All I have to do is this. Trap initializing, it's initializing. Nah, yeah, I ain't gonna tame him. I ain't gonna tame him. An orange and blue one, that would be nice. Also, thanks to this uh, mod, there are, I think, a couple variants as well for the these guys. Um. Yeah, until... Let me get the other cola can and something else. These guys would actually be really good for me to get. Because they would give me biotoxin. Like, you can, tamed ones, you can harvest biotoxin from every 30 minutes via the Rydal Rail. And it's, it says the amount that they give you is based off their, their level and their size. So the bigger they are and the higher level they are, 
the more biotoxin you should get from it. So, it, it makes sense, you know. Um, okay. Let me just... Yeah, I'm just going to run back to the lake, figure out, uh, like, how to set up this cola camp. Maybe if that, uh, was it? If that 2.1 is still in that lake and I didn't kill it with Andy, I'm going to grab him. So, yeah. Anyways, I just got to run back here and I think the lake is up here. Yep. Welcome home. Let me do a, let me do a Carnotaurus run. I gotta run around here and make sure there's no predators that are gonna kill my creatures. Okay, uh, it looks clear. Also, with Carex Better Dinos, I like the way the Quetzal sits now. It actually sits like a, like a, the Tropiogoths, or like the, where is he? Where's my Terra Bird? Not my Terra Bird. My Pteranodon. The Terra Birds are right there, I can see them. <laughs> yeah, um... Andy. Watch you like take extreme amount of damage. Nope. Okay, let's let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, see. I'm gonna I'm not gonna have the piranha attack me now. That's actually a good thing. The piranha will not aggro onto me until, unless I attack them or I have a disease or I'm at a certain health. So it's awesome. They actually act like real life pir piranhas. Because if you didn't know. Piranhas in real life, they only really attack anything that's weak or injured. And the way that they tell this is because... Well, you can, you can force Piranha to come and attack you. Um, if you start panicking in the water and you start splashing around and all that, they take this as a weak meal and easy, so it's something that they can just take down simply. Now they're like this, and you're, they're like, they won't attack you unless you aggro. So, it's nice. It's nice. I can now swim with the fishies. But anyways, uh, where is that fishing whiskey? I just, I just realized. Uh, hey! And as you can see here, no leveling. Nothing like that. Oh. Huh. He's gaining experience. Let me just do what they uh, said to do with them, which is cryopod, or put them in a fishing basket, but you the fishing basket breaks when you release them, it appears. Yeah, the fishing baskets break. Now, if I launch them back out... Okay. Um, behavior, enable main... I got all that stuff. Also, the, if you want to convert them back to uh, vanilla, you can, but you can't convert them back to the modded version. There is our big O. Why are there, like, so many things swimming above me that are not fish? Also, I need oxygen. And it's good. Anyways, that's actually pretty useful. Um, where? Oh, we got beavers over there. We do. Now we got these guys as well. Um, you guys don't know what these guys are. They're actually pretty fun to tame. The... Uh, Chatherium. I believe you, like, have to run up to them. You have to give them beer, and then you have to run away. They're actually one of, like, if I believe, they were, like, one of the most peaceful tames I've ever done when I first tamed them. So. Yeah. We might tame some of those guys. They are, they're, they're the poop throwers. They will throw boulders of poop. But, yeah. Um, we got our cola camp. Yay! I, I don't know why that feels so good. <laughs> or why I think that's, like, I don't know. It, it was, it was the dumbest thing we have tamed. I'm now stuck in the door. This is the dumbest thing we have ever tamed. It's a damn fish. I don't even... This entire episode is just me doing the stupidest idea I had, which is just taming a fish. But they're useful fish. They're useful fish. And they're a great way to start us into the aquatic business. Um, I think here down the line I actually might even go make some ocean platforms and make an, a, a water base out there so I can have a fish farm and all that, but until then, we need to get more. Okay, so that was a 115. It went up to a 172. And... I'm like, why is his name white? I feel like something's off. 
I forgot, fish don't have genders, but you can still apparently breed them, I believe. So we can't prevent the food up. Uh, you do a scroll. I'm scrolling down right here right now on the better dinos page. Oh, I don't think Colacanth can be bred. That might have, I might have lied to you. Uh, but we'll try. We'll try it once I get another one here. If, oh my god. Is this episode just going to be me hunting down fish to breed them? You can tell I'm starting to take a look at this career. <laughs> okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. It's already selected. In the Cinderia, the jellyfish are just above the Colacan, so. I don't know. We might just, I don't know, we might tame up these guys, and then I might get the other fish off screen, because of just how stupid it would be to go around and tame up saber tooth salmon and all that. Because, I mean, Colacan taming, in my mind, is probably the dumbest thing we could do right now. And saber tooth salmon taming would be right there next to it, so. I don't think I need two episodes dedicated to a stupid idea. Also, where's my food? There it is. Anyways, I'm gonna find that next Colacanth and then I'll get back with you guys. I legit just sat here for maybe a half hour just scrolling through that stuff to find it and I hit refresh on accident. And I found one! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god, let's go, let's go. I'm not even gonna fly Andy there. We're just gonna go for it. He looks like he's in a river. So, yeah. Um, hold up. Pterodon's faster. Pterodon's faster. I'll get you guys once I'm there. And here we are. Ooh, please tell me you're like right here in the shallows. You are, you are, you are. Okay, okay, okay. He's right there. Come on. Come back this way. Come back to Papa. Come back to Papa. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't swim out. No! Turn around! Turn around! He's turning around. He's not turning around. I hate you guys. I do. Ugh. Legit, I hate the water. Like, everything scares me in the water. I don't know why. I'm just so jumpy. No, I'm not feeding. I don't want you guys. Go away. That's another Liptopleridon. Okay. Ah! Mm, I'm gonna put my hand through this desk. Like, because I just... I keep on getting startled. Also, Liptopleridon. I don't think that's the magical one. I know some creatures have mana. Like that. But I wonder... Liptopleridons are actually a creature that have mana. Because that is something stated in the mod. So. But yeah. If you if you don't know, uh, Carrick's Better Dinos just makes a permanent version of the Liptopleridon. And uh, you, I think it's like you have a chance when you tame it to it to have like a magical buff and you can change out the stuff. I'm not too sure. Um, when we go to tame it, which will probably be one of these episodes, we will. But... Why are you... I'm legit gonna have to sit here and wait for him to come back and land. Where's my bird? There's... Oh, there you are. He blends in with the rocks. <laughs> I couldn't see him. He, I thought he was a rock. There's my bird. Are you coming back towards me? Or are you just still swimming out? Okay, yeah, I, uh, once this dude gets closer, I will try and get him in the basket, but until then, uh, we're gonna turn up our gamma and sit here and wait. So, yeah. Drastic times count for drastic measures. Oh god. Run, you bastard! Not that way! Okay, I might have just messed up big time. I was gonna hit him and hope he ran towards shore, but... I really probably should have brought Andy with me. 
I, yeah. I've not made this situation any better or worse. And there we go. Okay. Let's. There's, wait. Yeah, no, that's just a bug. There's not another four, uh, 45, 145 out that way with that. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Um. I do believe I have to hop back in water every now and again to moisturize him so that way he doesn't die. But you know what? Let's, while we're here, before we do that, let's just get another cryopod. So that way we don't actually have to worry about moisture. You didn't die. Nope, you're still alive. I got, I got two, one point, or I got two, two point threes this episode. Thanks. To, all right, we're keeping creature finders. I'm sorry. I mean, that just made it so much easier to find exactly what I needed. But yeah. So basically what Colacanth do, um, with what, with what I said, like, they just randomly cl cl collect uh, junk out of the water. Um, so yeah, the way that works is the bigger they are and the higher the level, just like the jellyfish, you get more stuff. So basically with the fish, it appears the bigger and the higher the level, that, like, increases their uh, stuff, like, that they give you. So yeah, let's get home here and see if we can breed fish. I also just realized I got home and I forgot to hit the record button. But you can't breed the fish. <laughs> I just tried. Um, there might be some. Don't stop running. <laughs> that that is the technique if you come across a raptor. Just don't stop running. God. <laughs> that was woo. Let's uh let's clean out. Let's clean house. Looks like these guys actually did clean our house. What happened to our poop throwers? Did those guys both seriously take them out? I honestly thought those poop throwers, if I just left them here and like left them alone and didn't go near them and didn't aggro them. What are you why? You, no, stay. Don't fly. Okay. I honestly thought if I left those poop throwing guys there, it wouldn't let, like, they would deal with all the creatures that spawned out here that were bad, but I guess those two raptors might have killed them. What the hell? Okay. Damn. But anyways, um, I think I'm going to do the, do the rest of this off screen because taming up fish is pretty boring. So, I think next episode, though, we're going to actually go and do, like, the more interesting tames. Like, for the aquatic, like, ones we actually have to knock out. Not ones that we just have to sit there and wait to swim into a basket, you know? A lot of these creatures are just sitting and waiting. So, yeah. I'm going to skip... Uh, basically, yeah. I'm going to just go get the other fish. Um, I might record me taming the leeches, because you can tame the disease leeches and the regular leeches. And they both give you a different effect. As you can tell, the disease leech will give you a disease. But the other one, I think it gives you, like, an inspiration boost. So. Um, but until then, you guys know the drill. Uh, I hit the wrong button, but yeah. If you guys like what you're seeing, please do leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys want to see more, uh, do... Yeah, just leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Ring that bell. Um, I did start up a new job here recently, so there are going to be fairly times in between episodes where there's gaps, but yeah. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace.